Let's make one more tutorial in Autodesk Fusion. In this video, you'll learn how to make a variable chamfer. And here you'll learn how to use the surface patch, surface extrude, surface loft, and surface stitch, chamfer and fillet. So open the Fusion and let's go. In the first step to create this part, we will select the top plane and make this sketch. And here will be the midpoint. And the first thing that we make, we'll create a slot here. And this line here has 170 millimeters. And the radius of this slot is 35 millimeters of radius, okay? So let's create this. Go to create a sketch, select the top plane. Go to create and select a slot. And select the overall slot. Make a slot here with 170 millimeters. Go to sketch dimension. The radius here is 35 millimeters of radius. And go to constraint, select coincident, select this point here and the midpoint. Go to sketch dimension here, the distance here 170 millimeters. We made this, okay. Now we will create this two circle here, this circle with 45 millimeters of diameter and this one with 35 millimeters of diameter, okay? So we'll select the circle, select this point, 45 millimeters and here 35 millimeters. We made this, okay? Now here, we will create this arc and this arc here. The radius here, 22.5 and the radius here is 27.5, okay? So go to create, select arc, center point arc, click here at this point. The radius here is 27.5 millimeters. Make an arc here. And the radius here is 22.5. Okay. Let me move this dimension here a little bit. Go to constraints and select horizontal vertical. Select this point and this point here. This point and this point here. Now here, we will create this profile here. Okay, we have the dimensions here. This line has 20 millimeters and this line here has 10 millimeters. And the distance between this line and this point here, 30. The distance here, 30 millimeters. And it is in the center, okay? So let's create this. Select line. Make a line here with 20 millimeters. Let me move this line a little bit. Go to sketch dimension. The distance here is 30 millimeters. And the distance between this point and this line here is 10 millimeters. Okay. Select line again. Make something like a triangle here. Okay. And go to sketch dimension. The distance here, 10 millimeters. The distance between this point and this point here is five millimeters. And the distance between this line and this point here is 30 millimeters, okay? Now we will create an arc here, a fillet. And this fillet has five millimeters of radius. So go to modify, select the fillet. The fillet here is five millimeters. And press OK. We made this, OK? Let, let me move the dimensions to this side. OK. Now here, we will create this line. This line is parallel to this line here. And the distance between these two lines is 5 millimeters. And we have an arc here. 
and another arc here. This arc is tangent with the line and with the other arc, okay? And the radius is 6.72, and in this side, 24.87. So select line, make a line here. Go to constraints and select the parallel. Select this line and this line here. Go to sketch dimension, the distance between these two lines, five millimeters. Now go to create, select arc, three point arc, make an arc between these two lines and make an arc between these two lines here. Go to constraint, select tangent, make this tangent here and tangent here. Make the same in this side. Let me move this point here a little bit. Okay. Go to sketch dimension. The radius here, 6.72. And the radius here is 24.87 millimeters of the radius. We made this. Now to create this in the other side, we go to create and select a mirror. Select this arc, this line here, and this arc. And the mirror line is this construction line. Press OK. I will hide the constraints here. We made this. OK. So finish the sketch. Now go to surface. And here. Go to create, select the patch, select this profile. Okay. Press OK. We made this surface here. The body one. Show the sketch one again. And here go to surface and select extrude. And in the extrude, select this profile. Okay. Only this one. On select only this line here. And we need it to extrude this 25 millimeters okay so to this side minus 25 millimeters operation new body press ok i will hide the sketch one we have these two profile here these two bodies sorry okay i will hide the body one and now we'll go to create a sketch and select this face here and in this phase, we'll make this sketch, okay? And the first thing that we'll make here, we'll take a reference, so go to Create, select the Project Included, Project, the Selection Filter, select this body here, and press OK. I will hide this surface here, okay? And here, in the left side, we'll create a line with 5 millimeters, and the distance between this line and this edge here is... 6.5 millimeters and here in this side we will create a line with five millimeters but the distance here is four millimeters okay so select a line five millimeters here select a line five millimeters here go to sketch dimension the distance here four millimeters and the distance here 6.5 millimeters Okay, now we'll create an arc here and another arc, two arcs here, okay? And create this line and more two arcs here. We'll put the dimensions later, okay? The distance between this line and this one is 15 millimeters. So select line, click with the left button here and hold this. We'll make an arc, okay? Click at this point again, hold the left button of the mouse and make a line here. Okay. Go to sketch dimension, the distance here, 15 millimeters. Now go to constraint, select the tangent, make this arc tangent with this line. Make this arc tangent here. Now the radius here is 20 millimeters and here 15 millimeters. So go to sketch dimension. 20 millimeters here, 15 millimeters here. 
and in this side 20 millimeters here and 18 millimeters here We made this, we have this profile here. So finish the sketch, show the body tool, and go to solid and select extrude and the profile, select this profile. Move this to extrude this to this side. And the operation here is intersect. Okay. We made this. Okay. We have this. Now go to surface and select patch. And here select this edge here to make the bottom here. Press OK. We have three surfaces here. Okay. And now go to create and select loft. And select the chain selection, activate this, and the profile, select this one, okay, and the profile tool, select this one. And now show the top plane. For reference, click here and this point and hold the left button and put this in this point, okay. And click here and this point here, move this to this point. Okay, we made this. Operation new body, press OK. We made this. Now, we will go to modify and select the stitch. And the stitch surface. Select the body 1, body 2, and body 3, and body 4. All these bodies, okay. And press OK. We made this. Look, it is a solid body, okay? Now, go to show the sketch one, and go to solid, extrude, select this profile, this one and this one, and move this, minus 40 millimeters, operation cut, and press OK. Hide the sketch one, we have this. And here, we need to make this chamfer. The chamfer here is two millimeters. So go to modify, select chamfer, select this edge, this edge, and this edge here. The chamfer here is two millimeters. Press OK. We made this, OK. And here, we have a fillet in this edge here. And the fillet is 0 0.2 millimeters, okay? So go to fillet, select this edge, 0 0.2 millimeters, press OK. We made this, now I will change the color here, press letter A in the keyboard. So here we finish our exercise. So thanks for watching, subscribe my channel for more, and see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.